So this is a weapon I have seen a few people hype up over the past few weeks. Well, I've put off actually testing it because of the new DLC stuff and all the new goodies that came along here, which I had to check out and cover. But now most are out of the way, we can check out some of these undercover beauties. This is 100% in that category. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like, it really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, with amazing deals, check out G2A, linked within that video description. Okay, so the Hell Shock is a Maliwan pistol which drops from Gigamind within the Meridian Metroplex and Prometheus. This, although is a dedicated boss drop, is also a world drop too. Now the route to Gigamind, I feel more or less everybody knows about that, but for those that don't, I will show you the route at the end of this video. So the Hell Shock is a Maliwan pistol with an absolute filthy punch, and I won't lie, and I will apologise for putting this thing up. This is up there guys, it really is. Now, after what I had seen about this weapon, I expected it to be semi-decent, but it surprised the heck out to me. Like, I'm kind of disappointed in myself for not checking it out earlier, and I actually feel this is something many people do indeed sleep on. So the Hell Shock on March 12th within the hotfix received a damage buff, taking its damage stat value from a 0.65 to a 1.1, and its damage over time went from a 2.5 to a 3.75. So quite the damage increase went down here people. So looking at this thing on paper we see this variant and they all drop kind of around these stats at level 57. But this one here deals 2038 times 2 per shot. Only consuming 1 ammo per shot also which is great. So that's 4k plus per shot. It also has great accuracy, great handling, a great fire rate and also a great magazine size. Which extends beautifully. And it also can switch between two elements of shock and incendiary. So this thing's party trick is it shuts ricochet the element not currently in use. So as you can switch this weapon between shock and incendiary, if you are in that shock mode, ricochet shots will be incendiary and vice versa. Now as good as this thing is on paper people, it's actually better in general use. Against bosses, big and small, the raid, the slaughter shaft, people this melts all. And with the right build behind you, there isn't much in this game what can indeed keep up. A weapon with 4k damage, a great magazine size and an insane fire rate, its DPS is up there with the best in the game. Now a weapon I covered about a week ago which surprised me was the Hydro Thrust. This thing's capable DPS was off the charts, and I'd probably say this is almost on par with that weapon. But with this, also as it's in the category of pistols which act like SMGs, this one though, although it's ammo heavy, it isn't as bad as other weapons such as the Hydro Thrust. And for this reason alone, I'd take it over the Hydro Thrust. Now I can't remember really using this before the hotfix. I mean if I did, I certainly don't remember it. But what I now know is, the Hell Shock is a seriously good weapon for sure. Definitely top tier for what it is, and I 100% feel is a weapon I feel many people are indeed sleeping on. So I do suggest you guys, if you haven't got this already, go and get this thing and try it out. Now on screen now for those who don't know Gigamind's location, here it is. But yes people, the Hell Shock seriously surprised me, and I do recommend you trying it out, and I do think it will not disappoint you. Like I said, with the correct build behind you using this weapon, it is on another level. By far one of the best pistols in the game without a shadow of a doubt. On that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that power button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.